Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Red Pill from Chris Ramsey and Murphy's Magic. What is it? Uh, basically, it's a really cool concept that uh, Chris came up with. Uh, he's able to get a spectator's thought card into the shrink wrap of a sealed deck of cards. Sound amazing? This is it. Here's what's gonna happen. I have a sealed deck of cards. There's two things you need to know about a sealed deck. Okay, the first is that there's this red tape that goes all the way around the front and all the way around the back, much like a cigarette pack. And the second thing is there's a seal, like a sticker. And if that's not been tampered with, it's not been opened, right? Yes. Could you hang on to that and put your other hand over it? Cover it up? The queen, out of everything since the beginning, this has been completely fair. Take your hand off the deck. Shit. I know, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Nine spades. Yeah? Nine spades. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to get a method that allows a spectator to think of a card. And that card is going to appear inside the cellophane, in their hands. You can A, open up the deck of cards, but if you do this, and you're destroying this magical object and you're left with an open pack of cards. No proof that something magical just happened. Option B is you can keep this as a reminder that something impossible just happened. That's sweet. That's crazy. That's yours. That's are you awesome. going to keep it or what do you do? Yes. I'm going to keep it. You don't want to open it? No, because then, then it destroys everything. You will also learn how to vanish a spectator's selected card from inside their hands and reappear in the hands of another spectator. <laughs> what, what was the card? Four diamonds. Four diamonds. So it should be inside this sealed deck if everything went according to plan, right? Yeah. You are gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no way. I asked you to make that card vanish and appear inside the sealed deck. This is amazing, but we're not done. Go ahead and open the deck. Rip it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god. I made the card go from her hand into my box of sealed cards. Take the red pill and follow me down the rabbit hole. All right, so that was Chris Ramsey. You might remember him from Instagram. <laughs> I follow him on Instagram, he's awesome. Uh, you might remember he also did Praxis, he did Control, he did I, he did Slip Shift. This DVD is brought to you by the good people down at Murphy's Magic. And we wanna thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we can review it for you. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, the first of which is what is in the box? What is in the box? You're gonna get a thin box, okay? Thin streamlined DVD box. You're gonna get the DVD and you're gonna get the single gimmick that's required to do this effect. Is it what I thought? I honestly had no idea what to think. Uh, I've done sealed deck tricks before, but never like this. So it is definitely a very creative application to the old sealed deck trick. And uh, I really didn't know what to think and I was pleasantly surprised. Can it be inspected? Absolutely. The end of this trick is geared toward giving everything to the spectator, whether they keep the card box and never open it, or if you do the effect where they unwrap it and open it, uh, yeah, everything can be inspected because you eliminate all of the gimmickry very early on in the effect. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? It's awesome. HD, lots of angles. Chris is a humorous teacher. He's fun to watch. He gives you everything you need to know. Great, well recommended. The DVD does come with two tricks, okay? So you're gonna get a trick called Secret and you're gonna get a trick called Red Pill. Both uh, use the same gimmick, both use the same setup but it's just where you want to end the effect or how you want to leave the effect and both of them are stunners. Is it well made? All right, you make it, but here's the thing. It's not one of those tricks where you're busting out tons of super glue and scissors and X-Acto knives. Well, it is, but <laughs> it's simple, okay? It is not hard construction, 
I've done, like I said, I've done sealed deck tricks before, and it's about the same arts and crafts that you would do with a sealed deck trick. Okay, so th there isn't any hard arts and crafts. You're not going to ruin anything, okay? You're not going to cut too fast or move too fast or glue something by accident. It's really simple arts and crafts, but it's arts and crafts that has to be done because in this effect, what you're basically doing is you're giving the deck away every single time. So you're going to have to make a new gimmick for every single trick. All right, so how much practice does it require? Uh, practice is all in the routine, okay? It's all in the equivoque. Uh, the other time that you're gonna spend is in making the gimmick. So I think you spend the time making the gimmick, you practice your equivoque, you practice your questions, you practice the routine, um, and then the trick uh, will just flow. It's almost self-working. How much setup and reset is there? Each one of these gimmicks, each one of these gimmicks decks, is gonna take you about 15 minutes to make. I would recommend going to Costco and getting that brick of bicycle carts where they're a dollar a piece and just burning through like an entire deck and just making 12 gimmicks at once in one sitting. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, for each time you do this trick, you're gonna give away a sealed deck or you're gonna have them open a sealed deck. And so uh, I think if, when you think about doing this effect for people, maybe you might wanna do it for an entire table or a, a bigger crowd, just so that you get the most bang for your buck. Positives, positives to Red Pill, uh, it's all skill levels, okay? All skill levels. And second, the trick slays. The trick slays, it has so much content, it's awesome, it's everything you'd expect from Chris Ramsey and Murphy's Magic. Negatives, all right, so some of the negatives. These are just the negatives that we see, like we say around here. They're just negatives that I found. They don't have to be the negatives that you found, okay? Uh, you see live performances in the trailer, but there's no live performances in the DVD. In fact, Chris even says at the very beginning, we'll show you some live performances and then they never come. It's like you're waiting and waiting and waiting and they never come. So Chris just thinks they forgot to, to put them on the DVD. That's okay. Uh, you, you can figure it out. Watch the trailer. You'll see the live performances there. Uh, yeah, that's the, only, that's the only negative. Is it worth your money? Uh, you're getting an hour 30 on the DVD and it's 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And you get an hour 30 of content and the gimmick. In my opinion, you still owe him some money. Okay, he's given you a lot of bang for your buck. Highly recommended. All right, who would like this? People that do card magic. People that do card magic. People that do walk around. People that do street magic. Anybody that's doing card magic for real people in real situations like that, that seriously want to blow people away. But like I said, this trick slays, okay? You can't go wrong for 20 bucks, all right? All right, so that's my review for Red Pill from Chris Ramsey. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.